Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. Now, technically, this is a part two to the rats mod we looked at a week or so ago now. We looked at the overworld rats, how you can tame them, how you can find them, and all the other different rat and cheese related objects we had in this world to offer us and it was pretty awesome guys as you can see I've got my dragon king rat pet flying above me now which will hopefully be joining me on our adventure to Ratlantis today so yes that is what we're going to be doing guys I'm going to be showing you how to get to Ratlantis and all that has to offer us as well but before we get into that guys make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and then slap that like button you know what to do and yes your guys support is always extremely appreciated on the channel so thank you very much for that now, let's crack on with it, and let's see how we get to Ratlantis. Now, to get there, we are obviously going to need to build the portal to get there. And that is done by collecting these mysterious token chunks. They are dropped from rats, and apparently can also be found very rarely in chests around the world. But let me emphasize, guys, how rare these tokens are their wiki states how rare they are they are extreme rare they're not going to make it easy for us to get to ratlantis are they now it's it's ratlantis it's, it's a special place all right so as you can see here chunky cheese token extremely rare drop rate from rat you can right click anywhere with this token to open the portal to ratlantis so that is exactly what we are about to do and I feel like this is a perfect location to set this up so as, as it says right click absolutely anywhere on the ground guys and it's gonna spawn the token in like that and as you will see the token will rise in the air and start spinning faster and faster until the portal is eventually spawned in it's a pretty cool looking portal I must say it's simplistic but cool, I gotta love it. And yeah, where's where's my little rat? Okay, there he is. Okay, I don't want to lose him. Here it is. The portal is coming, guys. I'm excited for this. Ratlantis, here we come. You're not prepared for us. All right, my rat companion, let's do it. All right, so just like everything else, just jump on through that portal. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you know what to do. All right, so let's take a little explore around this place. Now, the main structures around here are aqueducts, these sort of uh, Atlantis-like buildings that are made out of cheese. These are cheese blocks, um, so that is awesome. They look like marble, but no, they are blocks of cheese, guys. <laughs> it's just epic. And wow, straight away we have a flying Dutch rat boat, and this is one of the boss's boats but they need to be spawned in under very special conditions so they don't just spawn in willy-nilly around the world there are a few bosses in this mod the ratlantian auto let's see if i can pronounce it automaton neo ratlantian and the flying dutch rat which as i just stated is the boss of this flying dutch rat dutch rat ship here wow tongue twister so let's take a little explore around this place let's see what it has to offer us because it is pretty awesome guys it's not super detailed ship but it does have some chests in it for us to get some bits and bobs and if you really want these blocks taken with you there is a store of chests back here as well with the blocks and we also have a pirate rat cutlass which is pretty gosh damn awesome i must say so that is what I'm going to be wielding with me today. Yes, fear me and all my rat pirate stuff. All right, so let's take another fly around the world, shall we? If I'm not bumping into every door around the place. As you see, there are lots of ships that get spawned around here. It's one of the main structures, but I've never seen this many spawned in a singular location. And yeah, we have lots of buildings and structures and monuments to the rats as well. There you go. 
you can see them all around this place as well. So lots of gold blocks as well for you guys to go take. Um, so if you want to be balling in the gold, you know where to come. Rat Atlantis. So let's go explore some of these buildings. Let's go take a look at them. I mean, there are ample amounts of buildings, guys, around the place for you to have a look at. There'll be chests in some, but not chests in all. So you've just got to go and have a good look-see around. I've got to say, it is an absolutely spectacular place. I definitely feel like I am in Atlantis, but obviously the rat version. Now, rats in this world obviously spawn a lot more. But the little feature that they spawn in in this world with is they all spawn in with little togas. So it's absolutely freaking adorable. Um, I've got, they're just awesome, i got to say. So let's find a nice place. I feel like this place right here. Or maybe, or maybe not, it's all underwater. Oh, let's go for... I'm trying to find, I'm trying to see what would be the best location to spawn all these awesome mobs in for you guys to see. Okay, this is this is a bit of an open area. All right, so now you've seen pretty much all the structures this world has to offer. I do really hope they spawn in or the creators design more and crazy out there structures for this place or maybe like a big city. I feel like that would be really awesome. I mean, I know they're going for the sort of decrepit and sort of broken down and destroyed sort of civilization look but i still would like to see some more structures here just to really bolster it up all right so let's get out some of the ratlantian mobs now so we have a ratlantian spirit we have the automaton which is the boss and i will be showing you how to spawn in some of these bosses later um so let's get out that guy instead We'll get out this guy, we'll get out that, we don't want to get out that yet, we'll get out that, that, and that, the Rat Baron is an awesome, awesome thing, I've got to say. So, here is the little Ratlantian spirit, lovely stuff, gonna see those flying around this dimension, then we have some of the feral Ratlantian rats, not too friendly looking. I must say, wouldn't particularly want to bump into them. Now we have a pirate rat, which is just awesome. It's got his little cannon and everything. And this feral dude is very loud. I don't know why you're so loud, bro. Uh, let's get let's. We're, we're gonna go over here. Away. From, wow, your sound really, really follows, doesn't it? Uh, let's, let's spawn. Oh, oh. So, what? on earth is that about that your own boat doesn't work on water what what it, that makes no sense so the, the 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 boat works solely on land okay so i okay doesn't like a parrot not not a fan of a parrot and is shooting cheese out of the barrel that's come on that is awesome all right let's go up to the flying dutch ratch ship I'm trying. Whoa, it's so tongue twisty. Uh, I'm really struggling with pronouncing that. Okay, let's get a hit and let's spo spawn in some pirate ghost rats. Yes, I don't know what you're holding on to there, but oh, it's a little sword! It's a little rat sword! Love it! These guys are so freaking cute! Okay, now let's get some rat fish, because yeah, that, that's the thing. There's rat fish in this world as well. So, there you go. Little fish shaped like rats. There's everything about this world is just it, just rats. It's just rats everywhere. They are awesome. All right, so the rat robot, which you actually have to kill to get one of the pieces for one of the mob bosses later to spawn them in. But yeah, you're just going to find these around the world. I have noticed some people in the wiki commenting, how do I find these guys? So I personally haven't found any out and about roaming the world. Um, so I don't know if it's just because they are extremely rare or if, it, if they're in a specific location. The wiki doesn't say. Not very helpful, I know. But hopefully you guys will come across them, be able to get their heads, and then you can spawn in one of the mob bosses later. Now... The Rat Baron. And I definitely feel like he should be more of a mob boss. But he's got such a little health. And he just flies his little rat aeroplane around. It is just... It's awesome. I'm not going to lie. 
It's just really cool. It's a great little feature. I love it. Go, go, go fly. Be free and do rat baron things. Okay. So, now I'm going to run you through how to spawn in some of the mobs, guys. Okay, so the first mob boss we are going to spawn in today is going to be the Neo Ratlantean. Now, the Neo Ratlantean does not spawn in normally, and it has to be created by you, the player. And you do this by getting a vial of consciousness, which I've got here, and throwing it onto a feral rat. Um, so, you know those weird looking things we saw earlier? The scary ones we don't want to get involved with? You've got to throw it onto one of these bad boys. And that spawns in the Neo Ratlantean. Uh, he, the Neo Ratlantean flies very quickly, as you can see, on a blue disc and will maintain their distance from the player. As this guy flies, it will open portals around the player to blast them with projectiles. Being hit with these projectiles will give you the levitation, wither, and glowing effects. It can also summon lightning bolts to strike you down. This guy is a bit of a beast. He has 300 HP as well, and I have no idea what he's currently trying to fight. And he seems to be injuring himself, if anything. Now, I feel like I should have pointed out earlier, but I am now wearing the suit of Ratlantis. This super cool, amazing looking suit, which pretty much means I am the protector of Ratlantis. It is a, a spectacle rat will protect you at all times and keep enemies at bay. So that is what is probably attacking the Neo Ratlantean right now. Effect stacks for all pieces of armor when on head. Awesome. It is an awesome set of armor to get. Look at this. I am I am very powerful in this. I'm not even trying to injure the the rat, the Neo Ratlantean, but it's it's working anyway. Uh, let me just punch this guy down. But yes, that is the first mob boss, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to spawn in or summon the Flying Dutch Rat. And pretty much with this one, all you've got to do is ring the bell. And the Flying Dutch Rat can manifest at night. So I'm going to have to change the time to, <laughs> to darkness. Let's get it. Let's get dark in here. Okay, let's set this to 14,000. Okay, boom. Okay, there we go, and he is terrifying. He is a creepy, creepy dude. I don't know where he's he's quite gone off to. He's got like a hook for a hand, and he wields a cutlass. So you do not want to be messing with this guy. Um, he will fly around you, trying to get a hit in. Uh, does he does a lot of damage? Apparently, is is according to the wiki. He does a lot of damage, so. Be prepared, be, you know, ready when going ahead and fighting this guy. Supposedly the best strategy to have. They really hate the parrots in this world. I don't know why. Do, do rats have some sort of aminosity against parrots? Um, but yeah, the best way to kill this guy is to use a rat with a voodoo doll upgrade. And it will make sure you won't die. That is if the rat doesn't die itself. So that is the best way to fight this guy. So get yourself a rat pet, add on the voodoo rat doll upgrade, and go ahead and fight this guy. If you can, that is. He is pretty strong. He has 400 HP. His hits are very powerful. So just bear that all in mind. I reckon going in with the armor set I've got on now, if you can find it and if you can build it. But yeah, there you go. Now, let's move on to the final mob boss, which is personally my favorite boss in this mod. So now we are going to spawn in the Ratlantian Automatons. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's extremely tongue twisty. Automatons. Automatons. There we go. I feel like that's much more correct. They are ancient machines created by the Ratlantians. They can be made in the world similar to an iron golem. So that's what we're going to do. I've got all the stuff you need right here. So you need any type of marbled cheese. So it doesn't need to be uh, this specific type of marbled cheese. But this is the one that they use in demonstration on their wiki. So this is the one I'm going to be using. And you're going to set it up just like this. And then pop the head on there. And this 
is the strongest mob. It has 600 HP and can break through any block weaker than obsidian. So it's a strong, strong mob. There isn't really any hiding from this guy. So if you do not have an obsidian house, you are in trouble. So I recommend building an obsidian hut with a little arrow slit in it, getting its attention, and then going haywire with some powerful arrows on this guy, as he is very strong and very deadly. They are hostile to all non ratlantian mobs, so anything from the overworld, this guy will attack and destroy without prejudice. So don't mess with this guy. And look at that, look at that whirling blade. You, you, you're not going to want to be hit by that. I don't want to be hit by that. But there you go, guys. That is how to get to Ratlantis, the mob bosses, and how to summon them in. And the suit of armor I'm wearing, it just looks awesome. It is a great addition, this mod to the rat mod. It used to be one mod, but they got split up. Not too sure why. It might have just been processing power. Not too sure. Um, but either way, links for them will be down in the description below. Make sure to download them. And if you have played this mod before, guys, I want to know your opinion on this mod. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you just what do you think about it? And will you be downloading it after watching this if you haven't already? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, see ya.